A Slim Good Body production. Math Monsters. Come along, we're going to have some fun. We are Mina. Multiplex Slit. And Addison. Math Monsters. Math's about figuring out. How fast or slow, how big, how small, how far away we kick a ball. It's making maps that lead back home. Or they sound counting his bones. How deep we need to dig a hole, counting fish inside a bowl. A five, six, seven. Maths about shapes and patterns, music, art. Facts collected on a chart. What's more? What's less? What's just the same? That's a favorite game monster. <laughs> How many petals on a flower? Or seconds in an hour. You have the awesome power to figure it out. If you want to know how much you have to grow to be as tall as Uncle Joe, you can figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. You'll find that you'll get through it once you set your mind to do it. Figure it out. Figure it out. It's fun for everyone to figure it out. If we four monsters play, and two get called away, how many of us say, can you figure it out? If an apple split in two, and half of it's for you, what's left for me to chew? Can you figure it out? If school begins at eight, should you leave or should you wait? So you don't get there late. Can you figure it out? Figure it out. Figure it out. You'll find that you'll get through it once you set your mind to do it. Figure it out. Figure it out. It's fun for everyone to figure it out. Figure it out. Hello, math monsters. Hi, Binary. I know you love to figure things out, so I thought up a special game you can play. Here. What is it? That's part of the game. You need to figure out what's in the box before you open it. See ya. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's a big box of candy. Hmm. <laughs> I guess not. Let's bring it inside. <clears throat> hey, it's heavy. Maybe it's an elephant. Multiplex, I think the box is too small to hold an elephant. Mm. And besides, it's not that heavy. Maybe it's a baby elephant. <gasps> Look, there's a label. What does it say? It says, a gift from Binary Bill's computer shop. I guess that can only mean one thing. What? It's, it's a, a new, new computer. computer. Let's open the box. Here are some directions to follow. Number one, plug in mouse to the back of computer using pink wire. Mouse? That's why there are no elephants here. They're afraid of mice. Here, mousey, mousey, mousey. Hey, I don't see a mouse. Are you sure there's one here? I think it's this small white thing here. It kind of looks like a mouse. And it has a pink wire that kind of looks like a tail. And it plugs in right here at the back of the computer. Now what? Number two, plug in computer carefully. Okay. And press power button above the keyboard. Keyboard? I don't see any keys. I think binary bill means this part here, with the buttons. I think they're called computer keys. Oh, I see. Congratulations! You're now at the MathMonsters.com website, where you'll have the chance to figure more things out. First, try moving your mouse around. When you do, it will move this line on the screen, which is called a cursor. I'll try, I'll try, okay? Okay! okay. Like this? Right. Now, there's a button on the mouse. 
If you move the cursor on top of a picture and hold that button down, you can move the picture around the screen. Like this? Whoa! That's enough! How do I stop? Let go of the button! Here are three different shape symbols. Using the mouse, place the symbols in the following order. First, the oval-shaped symbol, then the diamond-shaped, and finally, the symbol shaped like an octagon. Which one's which? I have an idea. I know what an oval shape looks like, and that's this button here. So that goes first. And a diamond shape looks like this, so that goes next. So this one must be the octagon, right? <gasps> Oh, and I just remembered! An octagon has eight sides! You're right! This button has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. Here goes! Congratulations, Math Monsters! You figured it out! That was fun! What's next? Well, I'll describe a problem, and then I'll ask you a question about it. Suppose you want to open a pancake restaurant. Addison, you make the best pancakes in the world. All our friends would love these. We ought to open a restaurant. But you only have three mixing bowls. You'll want to find out which pancakes are the most popular. The question is, what would be the most helpful way to figure it out? If you think you should guess, click on the oval symbol. If you think you should collect information and data from the monsters in the neighborhood, click on the diamond symbol. Or, if you think you should call up another restaurant and ask, click on the octagon. What should we do? If we guess or ask another restaurant, we might not know for sure what the monsters like. So I vote for collecting data. Me too! Good figuring! Now, suppose every time a monster in the neighborhood chose the kind of pancake they liked, we drew a circle. Blue circles for blueberry pancakes, yellow circles for banana pancakes, green circles for spinach pancakes, and pink circles for bubblegum pancakes. Here's a picture of a piece of graph paper. Can you figure out a way to use this graph paper to tell which kind of pancake the monsters liked best of all? And can you figure out how to do it without counting? I've got an idea. Suppose we make a bar graph and stack up the pancakes in columns of the same color. Huh? Like this. We stack all the blueberry pancake circles in this column here. All the yellow banana pancakes here. All the green spinach pancakes here. And all the pink bubblegum pancakes here. Wow, look! Blueberry is the tallest, so our monster neighbors like blueberry the best. Way to go, Math Monsters! Ready for more? Yes! Okay. Now suppose Split is just starting to make a pattern on a border using four different shapes. Triangle, circle, heart, square. Triangle, circle, heart, square. When someone calls on the phone and she has to leave, using the mouse to move these shapes, can you figure out how to continue her pattern? Let's see, how about a square, diamond, heart, circle? Nice try, but that's not her pattern. What did I do wrong? Oh, I remember, I remember. When you follow a pattern, you need to keep going in the same exact order, like this, triangle, Circle, heart, square. Good figuring. Next problem. 
Now, suppose you want to build a playhouse so you can hire a carpenter named Annie Ant to do the job. You call her and she says, How big do you want it? Oh, pretty big. Pretty big, huh? How big is that? I need to know how long, how wide, and how tall. Oh, oh, I see. You pace it out and tell her, It's 50 steps long, 30 steps wide, and 15 steps tall. Hey, kid, that's great. I can build it today. You go to a party while she builds the house, but when you return... Huh? What's this? We can't fit inside. It's too tiny. I built it just like you said you wanted. You told me 50 steps long, 30 steps wide, and 15 steps tall. And that's just what it is. What went wrong? Can you figure it out? Did she write down a couple of numbers wrong? Were your steps the same size as hers? Did the building shrink in the rain? I don't think buildings shrink in the rain. And even if Annie Ant wrote down a couple of numbers wrong, I'm not sure it would make the playhouse that small. I think our steps weren't the same size. They were much bigger. Very good. Now, once you know what the problem is, you trace Addison's foot on a piece of paper and cut it out. Then you trace Annie Ant's foot and do the same. You find out that one Addison foot is the same length as 10 Annie Ant feet. Now, if a wall is seven Addison feet long, how many Annie Ant feet long will that be? Hmm, let's see. I'll move this group of 10 under this Addison foot. Move this group of 10 under this Addison foot. And keep going. Okay, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. The wall is 70 Annie Ant feet long. Excellent work, Math Monsters. You know, I wonder if those strange creatures called human beings ever use computers. We sure do. Not only to play math games, but to send messages to other people with computers. That's called email. Here, let me show you. First, what you have to do is you type in the email address. Then a note saying, hey, Meredith. Then, with a click of a button, it's sent. Go check out Meredith's computer. I bet she has that message. Here it is. Hi, Meredith. Now I get to send a message back to him. Hi, Dan. I can send an email to someone close by or to someone far, far away on the other side of the world, like China, just as easily. I can also find out things by surfing the net. There are also websites where you can play games, like this one, mathmonsters.com. Figure it out. Figure it out. You'll find that you'll get through it once you set your mind to do it. Figure it out. Figure it out. It's fun for everyone to figure it out. Figure it out.